Welcome to History at Farming Gate. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the course because brief is good. The Tudors, first of all, 40% of your course. It's got Henry, Henry, Edward, Mary, Elizabeth. Done. Russia, you've got Lenin, then you've got Stalin. There's a couple of wars in there. Civil rights, it's got from the Civil War to the death of MLK. Very interesting. Lovely stuff. Next one. Meet the teachers. Right, uh, Mr Smith, I reckon he's going to go back to Henry VIII's court uh, for the buffet, but of course only if it's gluten free. Yeah, true. Oh, Mr MacDonald though, um, maybe 1977 in the Star Wars premiere? Yeah, really good. So. So I think Mrs. Lucas would go back to a time in history where people were a lot shorter. What about Mrs. Smith? Well, I think Mrs. Smith would go back to Manchester before the Industrial Revolution, back when it was a nice place to live. So, uh, Miss Ring, she loves fashion, she loves dance. I think she'd like to go back to the 1920s to be a, a flapper. That's flapper. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a good show. Um, Miss Snooks, tough on that, isn't it? Uh, I think she all thinks she's all things Tudor. So I think we're going to put Miss Snooks all back at Hampton Court, time of Henry VIII, to just experience that and uh, kind of soak it all up. She'd love that. So, Miss Knoxall, who do you think Mr. Branch and Mr. Martin would go for dinner with? Well, I think Mr. Martin's really enjoying teaching World War One at the moment, so I'm wondering if it's going to be someone from that era. Um, and actually, Mr. Branch really enjoys his military history, so I'm thinking if it's going to perhaps be a bit of a military dinner. Um, but I know that Mr. Branch's passion, particularly um, being World War Two. Yeah, Mr. Branch really does enjoy his trips to Duxford to see some plane spotting, so I think you're probably along the right lines there. An RAF from the Second World War, one of the few. Yeah, I think that's a great choice. Let's go with that. Snog, marry, avoid. Ooh, Ooh good uh, question. And a few controversial characters on there as well. We've got Oliver Cromwell, mm. Henry VIII, or Stalin. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. range of choices. Okay, let's start with snog. Who would they snog? I mean, I don't know, but I have just been reading this book, and I mean, young Stalin? Snoggable. Absolutely. Let's go with that. I reckon I think, snog him. Yeah, yeah, they know what they're getting into. They both teach Russia, and it's, it's, only, it's only a kiss. No more further commitment. Okay, marriage? I mean, Ooh. it couldn't be Cromwell. So boring. Couldn't be. So boring. No Christmas. No theatre. Miss Hetherington loves theatre. Okay, she wouldn't be. No, no. Avoid. Avoid Cromwell. Absolutely avoid Both Cromwell. Both avoid Cromwell. So that leaves us with Henry for the marriage. I mean, it's risky. Controversial. But I think they're both sassy enough to deal with him. Yeah, I think they are as well. And I mean, there are two of them, so I mean, it's a good job he can chop and change. <laughs> so now that you've met the history team, let's meet our wonderful students. Hello, I'm Hazel and I'm a Year 13 History student. I, next year I'm hoping to go on to study medicine and so history isn't something that I necessarily need for my future. However, it's something that I really engaged with at GCSE and it's something that I genuinely enjoyed and so therefore I decided to do it as my third subject. I'm really glad that I did this because having to sit in science labs all day can sometimes be like a bit monotonous. So having history which is something completely different and uses completely different skills and the exams are completely different is so lovely as just a break from that. Um, taking history I feel like will be really useful for my future because it has taught me lots of analytical skills and taught me to see the world in like a different way and it really helps seeing how people have chosen to do certain things in certain ways and the um, reasoning and rationale behind this and this is something that I will be able to take forward and apply to the rest of my life. I'm going to study history at degree and I'm going to go to America uh, on a sports scholarship and I really encourage anyone who has a genuine interest in history to do it at A-level. I, I just don't think you'll regret it. 
We really hope that you have enjoyed finding out a little more about the history team here at Fine and Gay. We really love our subject and hope that you will too. Just to finish, we wanted to show you a few pictures from the amazing extra opportunities we have here in the history department. We've run very successful trips to New York and Washington, Italy, and also a personal highlight for me was a 10-day tour of Europe to visit key sites linked to the Third Reich and Nazi Germany. These are really fantastic opportunities that we hope to be able to offer Fine and Gay history students in the future. Just a reminder here of the key elements of our History A-Level. Um, in the top left-hand corner, you'll find a QR code, and you can uh, use this to find our course guide in order to find out any more information that you might need, and also to find out how you might be examined. Thank you so much for taking an interest in the History A-Level here, and we really look forward to welcoming many of you in September.